Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get HD quality out of a Dazzle capture card. So you're on your dashboard, go all the way over to system settings, go to console settings, display, and then you're going to want to go to screen format and go to widescreen. And I think this only works on widescreen TVs, but it might work for you anyway. And I would change the black level to intermediate unless you do color correction and post production. Mmm, spaghetti tastes good. Hey, what's up you guys? Um, today I'm going to show you how to get almost PVR quality with the Dazzle DVC-100. And I say almost because the detail isn't as good, but the overall picture quality is, I'd say, almost the same when I'm finished rendering. So to capture your footage, you're obviously want to go, wanting to go into Pinnacle Studio 12. And once this loads up, I will show you what settings I use to capture so obviously go to capture and my dazzle is not plugged in yet or right now so it's gonna go to the webcam but don't worry about that so what I'd usually do is I turn the saturation that or the sorry not saturation the sharpness down a little because if you look at the preview it kinda shows me sharp so I turn it down to about there sorry about this capture device it's kinda blocky if you notice the mouse movements so you're gonna wanna go to settings I I capture an MPEG 2 because it seems like it gives me the best quality and AVI is really bad looking I think so go to that always go to custom settings um, if, you're, if you don't wanna do custom if you don't wanna deal with that do high quality but I like custom um, I suggest MPEG 2 I don't know the difference but I've tried both and MPEG 2 is better quality. Um, go to 8400 kilobytes a second. Always do that. Don't do any higher. That's going to give you the best quality. Um, and to speed up the capturing process, go to Capture Source. And go to n check No Auto Scene Detection. Press Space Guard to con create scene because then you won't have to load your um, footage after you've captured it. So press OK and then you can capture your footage off of your Xbox or PS3 obviously not my face because my face is ugly so after you're done with that do not go back to edit wherever you captured it to X out of Pinnacle Studio don't worry about this crap um, open Sony Vegas now Sony Vegas is where you're gonna get the real quality this is where it's the best quality so import I suggest making a capture folder on your desktop or something so import this is my capture folder. Um, now I'm going to import the HD Dazzle thing that I captured earlier. Obviously, import that to your timeline. And if you can see this on your on the video, um, if not, go into full screen mode because it's still going to be really good quality. And as you can see, I have these black lines on the top is really bad, on the side is not too bad. But most Dazzles with most computers do this. So what you're going to want to do is go to this right here, and it's called event pan slash crop. And go over here and go to width, and go down on it until you, until you see those lines on the preview disappear. And usually mine disappear about 704, 70, so I'm going to go to 702. And then as you can see, there's no black lines at the top and no black lines on the side. So after you're done with that, X out. And the next thing you're, you're going to want to do is I use the video FX tab. And then I go down to color corrector secondary and studio RBG, which is red, green, blue, to computer red, green, green, blue. And put that over it. And that gives you a really nice effect that looks like you're actually playing Xbox. Um, another thing you're going to want to do is go to properties and sometimes when you're capturing it's really like there I don't know how to explain it but there's little lines on the side on the signs sides so you're going to want to go to disable resample and then what else you're going to want to do is in the to get rid of those jaggedy edges edge lines is you're wanna, gonna wanna go to project video properties and 
Um, where is it? Okay, you want to de interlace method, you're going to want to go to in interpolate fields or blend fields. I think interpolate fields works better. And you can always change your template so it's 1080p and progressive scan. I just leave that how it is. And then check check the adjust source media to better, to better match project or render settings. You always want to check that. Okay, so once I have once I have all this laid out, what I'm going to do is render, which is right here. And the red um The render settings I use, I have it custom. Always render in the same format that you captured in. It will not, it won't compress if you render in the same format. So I either suggest MPEG2, or if you don't want to render in the same format, go to Windows Media Video 11, which will be at the bottom. But I render in MPEG2 because it won't compress it. So after you choose either MPEG2 or Windows Media Video 11, those are the best for YouTube. Go to Custom. Um, leave it on HDV. You can change the frame rate all you want. Um, always go to Quality High. You always want that on high. You can change this to 1080 by or er, 1440 by 1080 which is 1080p or 1280 by 720 which is 720p obviously um, advanced video I usually leave all this the same because I don't know what the hell it is audio you can change that if you want but it, it usually sounds really good if you leave it like this system same project go to window when video rendering quality god I can't talk today and put that on best and you're pretty much done so I'm gonna save this. So after it's done saved, I'm gonna open it and show you the quality. And this is about YouTube size and as you can see it's very good. Um, and like I said, no, it's not going to be as good as a Dazzle, but still, if you go into full screen mode, you can still pretty much see everything and see how good the quality is. So thanks guys for watching. Um, hope these tips helped. If you need, if you need any more questions, cause I know I didn't explain very much, just comment on this video and I'll help you out. See you guys.